Uh, welcome back. I'm going to uh, toss it over to director Roger Ross Williams as he talks to Zaresane Mahari, writer and director of Different. Um, and they're joined by actress Marone Getnet. Guys? Hi. Um, here with Zaresane and Mahari. So, um, this film is so powerful and so important. Tell me how you sort of came to the whole thing. Um, we, I met Ahmad Ashanafi's brother. Uh, at a friend's dinner uh, about in 2005 and he told me about his sister and uh, the work that she does in her organization. Um, so I was blown away by um, what her organization had to offer and it was the uh, first of its kind. Um, and um, I asked if I could meet her and, and we met a couple of months later and um, she told me more about the organization and the cases that they worked on. Um, and right away I, I knew I wanted to tell her story. Tell us a little about the story. Um, the Fret is a, a, a feature film based on a true story of a, a lawyer who comes to the help of a young girl who was abducted for marriage um, and killing, uh, who ended up killing the person who abducted her and, in, and she stood trial for murder for two years. So this is a beautifully shot film and um, a pretty big production. So how do you shoot a, a film like that in Ethiopia? I mean, I, you know, I, having made films in Africa, I know the challenges. What was that like? Well, it was very difficult, really. Um, a lot of planning went into it. Uh, we did five months of pre-production. So we had a team prepared in Los Angeles. We had a team prepared in, in, in New York. And then I went over to uh, Addis Ababa and uh, we started preparing basically uh, the cast, the crew, and uh, <laughs> I think the most difficult part was to get a 2,000 pound of uh, camera gear uh, that Panavision gave us uh, uh, to Ethiopia. So we had to put it on a plane and bring it there and uh, go through customs and all of that stuff. That, that took a little while um, and ensuring it also was a big problem. Uh, but after that, once we got to uh, to starting the uh, shooting the film, the other big problem we had is uh, working with Miron and her popularity in Ethiopia. <laughs> the first day we went out to shoot on the street, there was about 500 people who came out to see wow. her. So, yeah. Wow. Other than that, it was <laughs> piece of cake. Miron, you never see strong black African women as the solution to the problems. It's usually, you know, a white aid worker coming in to like, you know, save Africa. What was it like playing a strong black African woman? That makes me so, so lucky. I, I feel that way because, uh, as you said, Mata Shanafi is a powerful woman. Uh, she did a lot, a lot of, a lot of th things to change the woman's life, especially on the legal issues. So. Uh, just being her or just feeling like her is really amazing and it gives me confidence. So um, it was really, uh, I, I feel like I am the luckiest girl, yeah. but <laughs> I am feeling yeah. that way though. And then the challenging things um, was there is, um, I have to show everything through me, her confidence, her things, um, her power and everything. So it was a little bit challenging, even thinking of being her, not <laughs> just to be. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a great um, yeah. opportunity for me. Yeah. So, so are you gonna, when are you going to premiere it in Ethiopia and what is it going to be like to show this film um, well, I, I, th I, mean, I can't wait actually to, to premiere it in Ethiopia. Uh, we don't know when we're going to go there. Um, we're also at the Berlin Film Festival. Uh, so we're heading there in February. And uh, my guess is going to be sometime in spring, in late April or maybe May. How are they going to receive the film? What, what is it going to be like? I mean, this is a, this is a serious issue. Right. It's a complicated issue. It's probably going to be very controversial there. What's it going to be well, like? Well, I, you know, this is a true story that happened, and the people actually have participated, and they voiced their opinions when the case was on television and on the radio, on the papers every day. So I don't think we're going to have any trouble sort of bringing this story alive again. Um, if, it's not even a concern for me, but if it would be a concern, the only thing that I might think that would be, you know, a little bit of a challenge for us is to be able to um, have the audience to get into 
a different style of filmmaking. You know, the way films are made in Ethiopia, uh, the way the, the TV shows and, and the radio shows are structured a little bit different. So, uh, and we want this to reach as many, you know, eyeballs as possible. So, um, kind of um, connecting and, and introducing this film language might be a little bit uh, of, a, of a task, but I, I have a good feeling about yeah, it. Yeah, plus, um, um, even the production quality is a very new experience for Ethiopian movie industry. So, because of that, I hope everybody will like the movie. Yeah, I mean, they're used to seeing Nollywood sort of, you know, really low production values, yeah. sort of, you know, the, the Nollywood movies, and yeah. this is really different for them. It yeah. is. Yeah. So, so everybody's going to be eager to see it. Yeah, oh, good. yeah, yeah. Good. Good. I good. Hope so. <laughs> see, I hope she knows so. more than I do. I know. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of movies yeah. today locally, but this is a new experience. Mm -hmm. uh, working with an international crew mm -hmm. uh, by itself is a new experience, and everybody want to see this movie because of even the production quality. Yeah, yeah. So you premiered. What was it like? What's it been like? It's great. It's it's great. What was the premiere like? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, well, we premiered Saturday night. Okay. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I couldn't have been a bit better. Yeah. Uh, you had everybody stay for Q&A afterwards. Uh, they, they received the film very well and, and, and very happy. And we sold out all of our shows. So. What, what did people want to know about the film? What was the Q&A like? I think the kind of the common thread in the questions I've got is, is the same thing you touched on, like how, how difficult was it to shoot a film in Ethiopia, and especially to shoot a film on 35 millimeter film. And, uh, and was, was the government, you know, okay with, you know, doing that? And, and I think it's... it's it, was a great question, and in terms of showing African talent and, and production, this quality to come from Africa, uh, it was very important for us. So, and is there a second question? Yeah. You're, the crew, was it a local crew? Uh, yes, majority of the crew, okay. about 90% of the crew is a, a local crew. We uh, brought in about 10 people that are head of, heads of department uh, to help us out. Wow. So, um, so you, you, how big was the crew? Man, because um, that, that's really, yes, I mean, you know, you're, yes. you're. Uh, I think we had something like 61 or 65 uh, people behind the camera. Uh, we had 71 speaking roles, 300 extras, um, and out of that, 10 of the crew members uh, were from around the world: Poland, South Africa, Kenya. Scotland, New York, LA, everywhere. Yes. Did you do you, do you think did you make this film for an Ethiopian audience or for an international audience? Yeah. I think primarily I made this film for for an Ethiopian audience. And I'm hoping that this would be one of the films that will cross over and uh, and uh, from what we've seen so far, I mean it's very encouraging. Yeah, yeah, because you know you you just don't see African films that tackle something so so complex, and that's what's really amazing about Thank it. Thank you. Thank about you. It. So um so yeah, it's it good. It be amazing. You cross, <laughs> cross over, and we we you know as Americans we just don't see images like that coming out no, of that. It was it was very important for us to be able to tell our story in 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 a way that people everywhere in the world can relate to. So um, we've tried, I think, uh, to. Uh, we had we were making this film with a, with one eye, you know, kind of looking to the west and and seeing that um, uh, we might want to be um, we might end up there at one point. What do you hope to get out of Sundance? I hope Sundance would um, would give us a chance to be in front of people uh, to talk about this issue. Um, I hope people would see the. Uh, the hard work and, and, and the, you know, oh, oh, see it as an art form and understand that, you know, uh, there's a lot of similarities with the things that we do. And uh, this issue of abduction for marriage, uh, when I started it, I thought it was an Ethiopian issue. Uh, but by the time that we finished the production, it, we found out that it's actually a worldwide issue. Yeah. So uh, I hope this comes out with, from the film and with the Q&As that we have. Well, thank you guys. This is a really important and powerful film, and thank you for being here. Awesome. Thank you. Great.